Hello friends, uh, welcome to VBSM Academy by Veerapadraya Demaya to our classes Science Notes, Learn Science, Do Science 2021 SLC Examination Question Papers and Answers for 10th class ICSC, CBSC, NCRT and State Syllabus well friends, I would like to divert your attention towards the atomic physics. Introduction to the atomic physics. Atomic energy is the source of power for both nuclear reactors and nuclear weapons. What is that atomic power? Atomic power is nothing but the nuclear power, my dear friends. Let us have a close association with atomic physics and nuclear physics. It is one and the same. They are like a two sides of the same coin. Atomic physics and nuclear physics. Well, friends, this energy comes from where? Splitting. Splitting means what? Fission. Nuclear fission. Fission means what? Breaking fragments are fusion. What is the joining? Fusion means what? Unifying or unity. Uniting together of atoms. So, the atomic energy or the nuclear energy are of two types. One is nuclear fission and nuclear fusion. Fission means breaking and fusion means uniting together of two atoms. There is a possibility of understand the source of this atomicity or atomic energy. One must be first understand the importance of atom atomic physics. Atomic physics is the field of physics that studies atoms as an isolated system of electrons and atomic nuclei. It is primarily concerned with the arrangement of electrons around the nucleus and the process by which these arrangements change. That means atomic particles and subatomic particles, the electrons, protons and neutrons. So, my dear friends, here you see atom as a whole. Atom consists of the nucleus and nucleus is made up of proton and neutron. We already discussed in our previous classes about the electron, proton and neutron. So, therefore, atomic physics and nuclear physics going side by side they are like a sword, two sides of the same kind let us have glance over the atomic physics and nuclear physics discovery of proton i would like to divert your attention towards the recollecting the memory of rutherford's gold file experiment in 1909 you know that rutherford discovered proton gold foil experiment we have already discussed in this atomic physics the experimental setup of rutherford's gold foil experiment where the deflected particles the detecting screen the gold foil and the alpha particle emitter and the important things most of the volume of an atom is empty space the number of negatively negatively charged electrons dispersed outside the nucleus is same as number of positively charged in the nucleus. It explains the overall electrical neutrality of an atom, my dear friends. This is the atomicity or the atomic physics. And Rutherford gold file experiment tells most of the observations about the entire positive charge are confined in a small core called nucleus of an atom. The particle Electron, proton and neutron, the symbol, the charge and the mass are respectively given in detail. Discovery of neutron. Now coming to the discovery of radioactivity, what is radioactivity? Now I would like to divert your attention towards the nuclear physics. As I told you, nuclear physics is also nothing but atomic physics, but it is a different. I told you the two sides of the same coin. Atom. Electron, proton, neutron and 
the radioactivity is nothing but what is radioactivity ready what is radioactive element the it is a process where spontaneous emission of alpha beta and gamma rays by the radioactive element like uranium and radium radium means immediately i would like to recollect the memory of great scientist madam curie she awarded two times nobel prize because of its hard work in the nuclear physics for the discovery of radium and polonium that's why she awarded two times nobel prize and the nobel prize second nobel prize was taken along with juliet curie juliet curie okay radioactive decay what is radioactive decay what is dk dk is nothing but disintegration dk means disintegration disintegrate means breaking breaking means splitting splitting is nothing but the radioactive element spontaneously splitting the alpha beta and gamma rays or the alpha beta and gamma particles it is a spontaneous emission of radioactive element discovered by henry backfarrell in 1896 my dear friends therefore a material containing unstable nuclei is considered radioactive you suppose the nucleus is unstable that's why the alpha beta and gamma particles which are highly penetrating power three of the most common types of the dk are as i told you all for dk beta dk and gamma dk all of which involve emitting one or more particles or photons this is the symbol for radioactive wherever in the science and technology if you find this symbol is representing radioactive substance this is the bombardment of alpha particles beta particles and gamma particles and here i would like to tell about x rays uranium emits something told by backerel this is ronchen the discovery of x rays is the responsible person discovery of x rays is nothing but then it goes to ronchen and the backerel discovery of radioactivity goes to uranium emits something he told backerel told along with after that rutherford contribution is also there after that madam curie the great scientist in the nuclear physics you come across these things we will discuss later now nuclear physics you know my dear friends nuclear physics is a branch of physics that deals with the isolated nuclei of atom or it is the study of nuclei and particles within the nuclei like protons and neutrons nuclear fission and uh, nuclear fusion or the types of nuclear reactions which are the major findings of nuclear physics in this topic we will learn in detail about the following topics related to nuclear physics in the fourth coming classes from the vvsm academy bangalore camp at gopanahalli chellakare taluk chitradurga my dear friends topics related to nuclear physics are nuclear fission nuclear fusion difference between nuclear fission and uh, nuclear fusion types of radioactive isotopes what are isotopes my dear friends isotopes radio isotopes are nothing but same atomic number but different in atomic weights same atomic number and different atomic num atomic weight suppose uranium 92 238 uranium 92 236 so same atomic number with the different atomic masses gives you the radioisotopes or radioactive isotopes and further difference between mass defect and binding energy and nuclear reactors fundamental forces of nature types of radiations properties of alpha beta and gamma rays difference between natural and artificial radioactivity 
of life of radioactive elements. These are the very important concepts, the fundamental concepts, basic knowledge of nuclear physics, my dear friends. Thank you. BVSM Academy is going to give a fundamental conceptual basic education to the students who are interested in science and technology. Not only 10th standard, PU standard, PUC, pre university students, degree students and even the competitive examination students can also approach VBSM Academy for the academic value. If you like our video, please like, share and subscribe and uh, call Mr. Virabhadraya Demaya 9663828428. If you like our videos, once again I am requesting you, please press the bell icon and subscribe. Thank you. Take care.